Hi, I'm Dallin. I'm an IT trainer at Guide Dog Singapore. Today, I'll walk you through some of the built-in accessibility features found on your Android phone to aid persons with low vision. Firstly, we'll look at how to configure the screen display settings such as adjusting font size, color inversion, and high contrast. Then, we'll explain some of the settings and shortcuts for ease of access. Finally, we'll cover how to use magnification tool on Android. Today, we will be using the Sony Xperia 10 Mark IV for demonstration. To start off, let's locate settings. For today's demonstration, I will show you the fastest way to go to settings, which is through quick settings under notification shade. So let's see that in action. First, I will unlock my phone. And then from the very top, swipe one finger downwards. This is notification shade. To review quick settings, from the very top, swipe down with one finger. The settings icon could be found at the bottom part of the phone screen for this model of the phone. Do note, for other models or other Android phones, you may find it on the top right or you may not even find it at all. For that kind of scenario, you may have to locate settings manually. To locate settings manually, go back to your home screen, pull out the app list by swiping up with one finger, and then locate settings. For phones like Oppo, you may have to locate it right at the home screen. There's no app list for Oppo phones. Now let's tap on the settings icon to open up settings. In today's video, we want to focus on the accessibility features that Android has to offer. So we have to scroll down to look for accessibility. Then, since we are focusing on display and making things easier for you to see, we'll be looking at the display section, which is right here. In the display section under accessibility, we can find features like magnification, color inversion, and display size and text. Let's first explore the display size and text section. In the display size and text section, you can adjust the font size to make text larger. You can also adjust the display size to make icons easier to see. In addition, you can bolt text and you can turn on high contrast so that your text will be sharper and will have better contrast. Do note that you have to play around with the settings to see what works best for you. To increase the font size, you will find a slider right below the text font size. Just drag it to the right and you'll see that the size would have increased in the preview window on the top half of the phone screen. To increase the display size to make items on screen easier to see, similarly, you'll find a slider right under the text display size. Drag it towards the right. And in the preview screen, you'll notice that the text will become bigger. And if you go back to the home screen, you'll see that your icons have gradually increase in size, and the text will become bigger as well. Another feature that I would like to demonstrate today is high contrast. So to turn on high contrast, you'll find a toggle on the right hand side of the text high contrast. Just tap on the toggle, and you'll notice that your text will become sharper. Similarly, if you want to turn on bold text, you'll find a toggle on the right hand side of the text bold text. Tap on it and you'll notice that the text will stand out even more. The next list of visual enhancement feature we'll be looking at is color inversion and dark theme. This could be found under settings, accessibility, and for newer versions of Android, such as Android 13, you can find it in the section called color and motion. From where we are now, we have to go back one level to get back to accessibility. You can either tap the back button on the top left or the back button in the navigation bar. Now let's just tap on color and motion. Notice that my dark theme is currently enabled. With dark theme enabled, you'll see a black background and white text. When this is turned on, you'll affect all native apps and some supported apps like WhatsApp. To enable or disable dark theme, 
we'll first have to locate dark team and you'll find a toggle right beside it. In this case, we are going to disable dark team and to do that, you just have to tap the toggle once. Notice that my background has become white in color and the text has become black in color. This means that dark team has been disabled. In some applications where dark team is not supported, you can use this accessibility feature called color inversion. This will help you to change the background to a darker background and a lighter text. To enable color inversion, firstly we have to tap on color inversion and then locate for a toggle right beside the text use color inversion. Let's see what happens when you turn it on. Okay, so notice that the background has become dark and we have a lighter text. Now if we were to turn it off, it will go back to what it was. The next accessibility feature that we'll be looking at is a tool called Magnification. This tool helps you to magnify items on your screen. In today's demonstration, I have set the text size back to default so that you can see the full effects of magnification. To locate magnification, go to Settings, then Accessibility, and under the display section, you'll see magnification. Let's tap on it to review the settings. You'll notice a toggle right beside the text magnification shortcut and it is currently turned on. The method of shortcut that is currently used is the accessibility button. You can find it either at the bottom right hand side at the navigation bar of your phone or it could be floating somewhere on your screen. Since the shortcut has been set to use accessibility button, to activate magnifier, we just need to tap on the accessibility button. So when I tap on the accessibility button, you'll notice an orange border around it. To magnify the screen, simply tap any part of the screen with one finger. Notice that my screen is currently magnified. To review more information on the screen, we need to move the magnification window. To do that, simply tap on the screen with two fingers and drag it around. To review more information on the top of the screen, simply tap with two fingers on the screen and drag downwards. To review more information at the bottom part of the screen, simply take two fingers, tap down and drag upwards. To change the magnification size, we will perform a pinch gesture with two fingers. To increase the size, simply put two fingers on the screen and pinch outwards. To decrease the magnification size, simply place two fingers on the screen and pinch inwards. To deactivate magnification, simply tap the accessibility button right at the navigation bar or floating around your screen. Finally, let's talk about configuring accessibility shortcuts. Accessibility shortcuts allow you to enable or disable some of the frequently used accessibility features. Generally, in each of the accessibility features, you can find a toggle to toggle on and off the accessibility shortcut. Right beside the shortcut toggle to turn it on and off, you'll see a text, for instance, magnification shortcut. When we tap on it, we'll notice that we can select the two different methods to activate the shortcut. So we have the accessibility button and by pressing the volume up and down keys. Notice that magnification has accessibility button set as its shortcut. So we have looked at how to configure some of the visual enhancement features to fit your needs, explaining some of the settings and shortcuts for ease of access. Finally, we covered how to use magnification, which is a tool to magnify items on your screen. I hope you have found this video to be useful. Once again, I'm Dallin. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. If you would like to learn more about operating your phone, you can arrange an appointment with our IT trainers at Guide Dog Singapore by calling 6339-7900 or email us at it at guidedogs.org.sg